Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And before we get started, I want to lead off this video somewhat in an attempt to maybe keep YouTube from demonetizing everything I put out, because the last video I put out was a uh, how to lubricate and maintain a fishing reel. Apparently that was not suitable for all advertisers, so that got demonetized. Lovely. So I'm starting this off by saying, if you consider yourself a snowflake, if you have ever considered yourself the victim of a microaggression, this video might not be for you. So I appreciate you for showing up. If you can kind of grin and bear it without complaining or doing anything that might not be deemed socially acceptable, uh, I'd appreciate it. So with that being said, we have a few reels submitted by subscribers that um, could trigger some of those who have real envy. And uh, it's, it's not that often I get excited about equipment anymore. Uh, it's been a long time since I felt that a reel that had that oohs and ahs and gave me the warm and fuzzies. Uh, every now and then it comes up. You know, last, uh, last time that occurred was uh, the Stella FI. And I'll tell you what. I always try to open up the stuff on camera. But when Philip sent me these two reels here, I, I had to see the essence. I've, I've never seen one in person. You know, whether or not you like the murdered out black look or not, <laughs> I had to, I had to open this up. So this reel has been unboxed. This one came to me from a buddy of mine, Braden, and it was already out of the box. And he just bought this today and gave it to me. So we're gonna go over what we got coming up and do a little bit of an unboxing to show you guys uh, what some of these reels are all about. And this isn't gonna be a review, so it's not gonna be long-winded. And meanwhile, it's probably gonna take 20 minutes. Who are we kidding? This take 45 minutes. You guys know me by now. <laughs> this Batman-looking mother reel is without a doubt one of the finest reels ever made, period. This reel, in, in my opinion, I already fished this reel. <laughs> the second I opened up the box, I uh, the, the line wasn't spooled very well. He said he got it. He, he said he didn't fish it, but there was, it was whoever spooled this. I think he said a shot put it on. Uh, it looked like they missed all the line at the top, so I got worried and I re-spooled it. Uh, I immediately took this out and went walleye fishing, and the next day I went trout fishing with it. Coming from a Shimano Stella of roughly the same size the spool's bigger this reel in every way shape and form for all intents and purposes is a better reel it is lighter noticeably lighter there is no difference i can't tell the difference between you know the stella and this essence you know as far as gear mesh and all that kind of crap but what i can tell you is when you turn the handle, the lightened rotor, I don't know if there's missing seals in this thing compared to the Stella. It's just not there. It's just not there. And this handle is very light, so it may not even turn the rotor just by the weight of the handle alone. This, this handle, I don't know what it's made out of, but it seems very, very light. Guys, I don't even need to do a review on this. I'm going to do it anyway because it gives me an excuse to take apart my Stella on camera. And I've been itching for an excuse. This reel is, I don't know if there's anything that can compare to it. And it kind of flies under the radar. And it's not because of the stealth black either. I mean, if anything, that makes it look more badass. But honestly, guys, I don't know why more people are not talking about this thing. I don't know if it's just because it's marketed as a sea bass reel in Japan. I also found that it feels a little bit slower. I don't know if that's a gear ratio thing. I don't even know what the specs are. I just opened it up and fished it. Um, guys... If you can swing the 500 bucks for this, if you are saving up for a Stella, and if you don't need 300 yards of four pound braid or, you know, 200 yards of uh, eight pound or whatever it is, guys, get the, the essence. And I, I'm sure they have different, I think they have different spool options, but this is a low capacity spool. And I'm not going to name names, but I was text messaging a buddy of mine uh, who uh, has associations with 
some brand, and he was kind of goofing on the, the lack of capacity. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter. I'm trout fishing and walleye fishing, doing some smallmouth, whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so guys, if, you, if you're one of those dudes out there that love blowing money on drop shot reels, don't hesitate. Get this thing. <laughs> All right, review over. No need for it. Save myself about 24, 30 hours of, of work between these two. But again, I wonder if the mic picks it up. You hear that? That higher pitch? I don't know what that is, but I first heard it with my Stellas. And uh, how does the term go? It moved a little. My ears perked up. I'm like, <clears throat> what, what is that sound? It was one of the coolest sounds that any spinning reel I've ever heard. It sounds like a, something from the future. And all is right with the world. Now, me personally, I, I think that that higher pitch sound is the uh, the idler gears that have a real fine tooth cut. So, anyway, enough about this reel. Um, until I get a steez in my hands, uh, the new one, the 2018, um, I, I can't see anything being better than the Essence. I really don't. And this handle, I'm not a fan of T-handles. I like this one. This one's not bad. I have a 4000 Stella FI and has a T knob and I can't stand it. This one's not too bad. And I'm not going to put this back in the hand in the box. I don't want it to get scratched. I'll let Philip scratch his reels. I don't want to do it for him. All right, let's get this out of the way. Bye bye, my beautiful baby. And this one's this one's well worn in. Okay, now, uh, let's see, Nick, <laughs> let's go read the, the love note from Phil. Thank you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> hope you hope you enjoyed taking apart these reels as much as I enjoyed looking at them. Can't wait to see the video and hear your opinion on them. Happy holidays, Philip. Philip, once again, thank you very much. And I do not mean this as a slight to anybody who has either sent me gear to review and tear down and work on and certain things just, just tickle my fancy. And I love high end stuff and I love high end stuff. That's not a gimmick. And God, that, that, that essence, that that's a game changer. It's been out for a while. I know I'm late to the party, whatever. Sorry, but damn, that's a nice reel. Now this thing, I haven't even seen yet. I saw a early pre-sale prototype and it wasn't the greatest because I think certain things on the inside weren't assembled properly, but I dig the handle. I will say, I like the way Shimano does her thread on handles. Uh, Daiwa, it kind of turns and then stops. And then like a, that much of a turn, it's now back flying off. Shimano, you can kind of give it a half a turn and it, it kind of stays locked up. Okie dokie. Oh, let's do something about that. We don't want to ruin the experience by hearing the line hit the spool. Show me tape. <laughs> okay, first spin. There, there's. Where's the essence? Huh? Can I put this away and play with the essence some more? There, there's no comparison. But it's a nice looking reel. I do like this new rotor design that Shimano is using. Uh, it takes that that Daiwa design that Alan Hawk has referenced as uh, genius or brilliant with the arches. See that there? But what Shimano did, they took a look at that and said, well, 
unless somebody's a complete idiot, they're not letting the line get over here to reel the line when they're retrieving. So why bother making arches over here? Let's make all the arches over here. So that's what they did. And it doesn't matter if this side flexes, as long as it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have any impact. That's a spool bended? Okay, we're not gonna do that. That's, uh, that's interesting. There's a little flex, but it's not bad. It's 5,000 size reel. We're not fishing 40 pounds of uh, drag, jigging for amberjack or tuna. Uh, this is probably best use for like an inshore size reel. Uh, me personally, 4,000 and 5,000 size, you know, 10 and 11 ounce spinners don't really have much of a use for me in freshwater unless it's for throwing spinner, uh, you know, using spinning gear for steelhead. Sounds like there's a little grit in there. Okay, whatever. Nice reel. I don't know if, is this metal? Yes, it is. I'm willing to bet it's a solid reel. We're gonna find out what happens when we get inside and what it looks like. Man, I should open this first. <laughs> really not much to say other than it does feel like it's got a fairly lightweight rotor. When I do start the retrieve, there's nothing there. That's, that's, that's what you want in a good reel. You know, whether or not it can go like this and spin for an hour and a half, that doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't make a difference. But having no weight when you first start that retrieve really goes a long way to making a reel really feel refined and it helps you kind of stay in contact with baits because if you have that sluggishness with light baits you, you don't know if you're making contact with the bait or if you're making contact with uh, whatever's going on in here so we're going to do probably a solo tear down on this because really the only other reel out there that compares to it's the Certate from Daiwa and I don't have access to one of them. And what else comes in the box? A Ziploc bag, some spacing washers, a hairbrush without any bristles, a schematic. And as always, they come equipped with words in black and black. And on paper, which is everything that we ever needed in life. Good bathroom reading material right there. Okay. Moving right along to the Nasky. Now the Shimano Nasky is, I'm gonna whack my head on my camera, probably the best reel ever made in existence for, I'm sorry, I just can't get enough of this thing. Just don't put up any bat signals around it. Batman might come and take it from you. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this whole murdered out look, but they, they did it right. That is pretty sick. I wonder, how, I wonder how durable it is. This is, looks fragile and chippy, but I don't know. What do I know? Okay, now moving along to the Nasky. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> All right, once again, bathroom reading. This is a novel. Look at this. Let me get my scale for this one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and get past all the weights and measures that I never bothered to learn because I don't even know what they stand for. 
1.6 ounces, 45 grams of instructions. That's impressive. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is Shimano's best not fancy plastic reel. And it is drastically different than the BG. It is priced at the same price point. But it's limited in terms of the sizes they offer. This reel here only goes up to, which uh, this is the largest, the 5,000. So you're not going to get up to those tuna-worthy sized uh, 8,000 class or 5,000 class uh, Daiwa BG reels. Although it's priced at the same exact price point. Uh, it is a feature-packed reel. It does feature what Shimano calls um, Core Protect. And it's debatable how effective it is on reels below the Saragossa. We're going to get into that once we start tearing this down. Uh, it's helpful, uh, but it, we'll save that for the full review. Uh, it is a good reel. I have fished one of these extensively by extensively, I mean, maybe eight hours total, a couple hundred casts. Um, it's a nice reel. It's a pleasure to fish. I, I like it better than uh, the other $100 competitors outside the BG. Uh, it has a better feel to it. Uh, it is limited, however, in size. So, yeah, there are some seals throughout the, the reel. I think I can show you one real quick. You can see there is a seal right there. And there's, there's a bunch of seals. So, again, we're going to get to that in the review. It is a, a nice-looking reel, if that matters to you. Um, if you're the kind of guy that goes to a bar and, you know, flashes fishing reels to uh, attract a harem... Uh, this this might work. The BG might get you some some you know some nines. This one will get you maybe an eight. Uh, but if you're doing that, you're probably drinking a lot, and who knows what you're leaving with. But yeah, this is definitely good enough for the girls I go out with. Hi, honey. But yeah, this is uh this gonna be an interesting review. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna be comparing the Nasky, and we can't forget about the Socorro. Uh I know nothing about this reel. I I I, I, I kind of think it's a just a bigger version of the Nasky without seals. I think they give it that Paladin treated gear. And again, we're going to be all up inside these. I have never fished this reel. I had no idea what it performs like. Um, I'm not going to be fishing it prior to the review, so I don't like to make assumptions on on gear. Um, I don't want to be saying um too much, trying to think of something clever to say to defend why I'm going to include it in the review. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just going to take a look inside. Um, it, yeah, there goes the um again. It's, I don't like this real very much. Sorry. It just doesn't feel right with the big clunky handle. And the 6000 Saragossa F, the original Gosa, uh, was one of my favorite reels, uh, especially in that, that $200 price range. And why Shimano can't make that again and drop the price, I'll, I'll never know. Uh, one thing that you're going to hear me mention in the review are thread-in handles. And uh, unless every other company has a patent on thread-in handles, uh, which I know they don't because I had an old magnesium Stratic that had a, a hex key handle, why the heck Shimano... Do you have just a free uh, a cap here? Why don't you just put a, a flathead screw in there like you used to do on some of your reels that had the hex key handles so that we can seal off this entirely. Come on. What gives, man? These are saltwater reels. You ain't got no time for that. If you're a, a hoser offer, you hit blast this thing with your uh, wash down hose. Hopefully you're not using the raw water, but we all know that happens. <laughs> um, you're going to be shorting out the electronics in here. So, yeah, that's going to be included in the review as well, and it's going to be put up against the BG, 
that we did that maintenance tutorial that YouTube was kind enough to say, you're not worthy of getting paid on this because it offended people. And we're going to compare it to the Shield, which is another $100 reel. This guy here. And where is she? And this guy here. This thing, this thing is going to be in every single review I do from from the point from now until I have to give it back. Is this going to make random cameo appearances, dude? That's how amazing this reel is. You really can't argue that there's a, a better spinning reel on the market than the Stella. Now, one of my buddies who's affiliated with a certain brand that makes some of the reels on this table mentioned to me last year that the brand new Twin Power has a better feel to it than the Stella. I didn't believe him. Like, I, you know, whatever. Um, if it's anything like this, I believe him now. I felt wanted to show and to Twin Power to show, and I didn't think it was all that, you know, spectacular compared to the Stella. Maybe it's just a, a beat on show reel, but man, oh man, this is a great reel. This is a spectacular reel. Now you're going to cast further with this Stella because it's got a larger spool. I think it's a larger spool diameter as well. So yeah, it's a larger arbor. So when you do cast, the line isn't going to be decreasing inward, causing friction against the lip as much as you would get with something like this because it doesn't look to have. Oh, never mind. They are the same. So yeah, so basically you'll get the same cast and distance. The only thing is you're going to cast down to the knot. No, 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 no. They are different. Essence has a shorter spool. Interesting. We're going to learn about this a little bit more. I already know I love fishing it. And it has MGL on it. Miller Genuine Lager. Ah, I talked about beer. That's going to get me demonetized for sure. I knew I smelled something. Very distinct smell when you unbox a reel from Japan. I'm telling you. True story. But yeah, the Stella is an amazing reel. I've had this now for two seasons. Never even opened it up. And it's it's getting a little dry. There's some play in the handle now. Um, there's a few things I'm gonna send it in for service because the you know the easiest way to service your Shimano reel spend the 35 bucks and get it to Shimano for their platinum service and they get it right back to you pretty much the same week. So this reel is gonna be going in for service. I, I may have worn down the gear set on it. Yeah, I, I fish this reel a lot uh, and I. I generally don't fish spinning reels all that much, and I really put a lot of time on this. This was used in two years. Uh, let's see. If I had this reel for two full years, that's uh, 730 days. We use this reel 300 days, which is very weird for me. So without maintaining it at all whatsoever, um, maybe the old grease kind of moved around and might have worn down some stuff, but she won't be missed, missed very much because I'll have her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, now, uh, I did have a question for you. I, I forgot what it was. So, yes. I don't even know if you guys have made it this far. I've been rambling and yapping. But, on Stripers Online, if you guys uh, have never been there, it's one of the, the best fishing websites out there. It's been around since 99, and he's got close to 80,000 members of that website. It's the world's largest fishing website. Uh, I'm a moderator there. I help out, uh, you know, clean house and, you know, sweep the rugs and do all that kind of stuff. And I'm noticing some of my uh, subscribers are showing up over there, which is really cool. And I posted my Daiwa BG tutorial the other day there and a couple people are offering to send me a couple of reels and honestly i need an, another reel sent to me like a hole in the head i think i'm up to 23 to 20, i don't even know 28 whether they're in the mail or already here um i would like to include a pen offering in the 99 dollar 
comparison between the BG, the NASCI, the Shield, and the, uh, yeah, those three, and the Socorro. Now, I've been offered the Pensman Fisher V in like a 4,500 size or a 5,500 size. Now, street price on that gets down below 100 bucks on occasion. They're, they were blowing them out on Amazon a couple days ago for, I think, 80 bucks. They usually go for much more than that. Now, the Battle 2, in my opinion, is a reel that is more in line with the BG and the Shield and all that kind of stuff. So I'd rather get a, B, uh, a, a, a Battle 2. Uh, you guys tell me. Should I take the Spinfisher offerings, and are they, uh, in your opinion, uh, a comparison that should be made, or should they be grouped above in another bracket uh, that's not really occupied by a uh, Daiwa? I, I guess is the best way to put it. Except for if you go to the Emblem Pros and the bigger, the big pit reels. So l let me know. Um, I'm leaving that up to you. Uh, if you want. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and with the spin fisher. If not, I don't think I have access to a battle two of a smaller size to throw alongside these guys. And I just want to know your opinion on that. So with all that being said, thank you all for joining me. I hope this video doesn't get demonetized so I can somewhat make up for the lost earnings on that Dio BG uh, teardown video and maintenance video that probably took me over 30 hours to do. Um, uh, and now it's not earning me anything in my in return for my efforts. But hey, uh, if I was doing it for the money, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I'm doing it to help you guys. Uh, and with that being said, you guys can support me in multiple ways. You can support me by shopping on Amazon or eBay using the affiliate links down below. You can support me directly financially through Patreon. I'll leave the link there as well. And there's another way you can help. You can go ahead and plaster my crap all over the place. Throw it on every internet, social media outlet that you have, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, fishing forums. You want to trigger some people, post some of my reviews and some of my videos on Bass Resource. They already don't like me over there for whatever reason. I've never even stepped foot over there. You know, I think I insulted one of their sponsors in one of my uh, my favorite fishing uh, reel reviews. And uh, hey, maybe it'll fly now because I didn't see favorite fishing as a site sponsor there anymore. So... <laughs> fire away pa plaster my stuff all over the internet I can take the heat at least I think I can and hey Alan Hawk decided to put my stuff on his website that's pretty cool that's the messiah right there anyway I don't want to keep rambling on and on and on uh, with, <laughs> with everything said previously uh, I'm going to end it here and just say thank you Braden thank you Philip thank you HK Jonathan thank you thank you thank you uh, HK Jonathan just made a, a big donation on Patreon, so I greatly appreciate the support. Uh, <laughs> and I'm still here, and I'm still going. I have more work than I know what to do with. It's getting distracting, so uh, enough with this. I'm rambling. Time to get back to work.